game's future stars are on display as minor league baseball comes your way on the show. A critical one in store for us here. It's game one between the El Paso Chihuahuas and the Nashville Sounds. It's baseball on the show, and it's coming up next. Jarrell Cotton, the pitcher from the Virgin Islands, is the starter on the mound. What's your take on him, Dan? Yeah, Matt, Jarrell Cotton, and boy, he is a good one. Big, live arm. Not a very strong, powerful guy. He reminds me a lot of Pedro Martinez. Low to mid-90s fastball with good sinking action. A terrific change. There's a drive high in the air and deep to left center field. Ground hard, ground and hard, that'll get scoring. over the wall for a ground rule yeah, double. Yeah, and that'll right. keep runners at second and third now with still nobody out. Hey, he started the offensive production with a bang right there. That's the first hit of the game, and it's a good one. Driving that ball to and over the wall for a ground rule double. And he's basically able to stroll into second base. Looking to put him away. Here's the 0-2. There's a swing and a high pop-up. Coleman waits on it, makes the play one away. Digging in, Diego Guerrero. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Diego Guerrero. Now the payoff pitch home. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Sosa moves over. Makes the catch, but the runner from third breaks for home. Throw back to second, and that's a double play. So no runs on it. Into the box now, number seven. And they're runners at the corners now. First pitch coming, here it is. Well hit the other way, and it's into the gap. All right, you're turning, have a look. Webster rounds the corner and is headed home. He pulls into third safely as they take the lead with two runs scoring on the play. Here's another look at it right here as he drives it right between the two outfielders heading towards the right center field wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. By the time they get it back in, he's safely into third. So stepping in, Angel Puerta, runner in scoring position with Sukan. Here's the 0 and 2. And he strikes him out here, so he's able to stop the bleeding a bit as this side is retired. So it's four runs on five hits, no errors, and a man left. So digging in now, Adolfo Castro. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. Here's a looping fly ball out to right. Effort there, but it'll just tip off his glove, and it's a base hit. Boy, that wasn't a very good pitch there, up and away. That breaking ball, D-Roll, that slider intended to be down and away. Instead, it was up and away. Yeah, that was definitely a missed spot right there, Dan. You saw the batter's eye. Standing now in, number seven. Number Bats here seven. with a double and a triple on his line in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing, and there it goes. Deep to left. No chance at bringing this one back. And it's gone as they add still another. A solo shot here to left. His first homer here in the series, and it's now 6-3. to three. He might have thought he was over the hump when he retired the three and four hole hitters, but the five hole hitter said not so fast. Any of these middle of the order guys can burn you, and he sure did right there. Stepping in and ready for another shot, number seven. And if you've been following along, you know he needs only the single to complete a cycle. And hey, it was a breaking ball to boot. This guy's a pretty good off-speed hitter. You could tell by that last that bad. He wasn't fooled at all. He sat back, waited, got the breaking ball, and didn't miss it.
hit hard towards the hole. And that's going to get through into left. So there's your possible go-ahead run on base to lead off the inning. Boy, talk about having a day, Debo. He gets his fourth knock of the game, but mixed in with one of those four was a round tripper. Not a bad day. Yeah, you have five, maybe a handful of games that you can throw out four knocks throughout the course of the year. Add in a tater to go with it. He's smiling. His food's going to taste better tonight. Oh, it's on the ground to second. Did he get his double play? To second for one. On to first. And you can forget about the go-ahead run being on base. He's erased on the double play. At the plate, Antonio Torres. 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Antonio Torres. Fly ball out to straightaway right. Under it is the right fielder. Oh, no. He totally missed it. And he'll pull into second here with nobody out. Man, I want to give him the benefit of the doubt and just say he lost sight of it. Digging in once again, Christian Villanueva. He'll be the one to lead it off here in the top of inning number 10. Popped him up. And that'll get down for a base hit. He'll get it into second, and he's going to get to second now with nobody out. That's how quickly things can change in this crazy game. The pitcher was upset about the call. Ready once again, George Aponte. He'll try to follow up the double in his last at-bat with another big hit right here. Heading out towards shallow right. Oh, and he misses it. Relay, hit me, relay. And he's in safely to third as they jump ahead with a run scoring on the play. Now in the box, number seven. And if you've missed it, he's already collected the cycle in this one. First delivery to him on the way. A swing and a miss just out in front of that fastball. Webster gets his lead at first. Nobody out. Hit high and deep out there to left center field. Sosa ranging back at the track. But he can't get there. And a big break on defense as the tying run will be forced to stay at third on the ground rule double. Wow, if that ball stays in the park, we've definitely got ourselves a tie game. But it hops over, and the runner has to go back to third. That's a bad break, and now they'll have to find another way to get this game tied. Being Wimpa brings it in. Throw will be in time for the first out, but meanwhile, that tying run has come into score. I like that he didn't try to do too much there. All he needed was a ground ball to tie this thing up, and that's exactly what he does. That's great situational hitting. Diego. Now the one and two pitch struck him out a huge punch out there and the winning run stays anchored at third with two gone now into the box now Edmundo Castro he's gone hitless to this point not a great game up to this point but none of that would matter if he could come through right here a chance to be the hero and the runner back. Now the 0-2 pitch. And he strikes him out to retire the side, so we'll play at least one more. Trying to pick things up where we left off. Number seven. And in case you missed it, he has already hit for the cycle. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. Well, he was definitely trying to end it with one swing at a bat right there, leaving nothing to the imagination. That's the problem sometimes. Everyone wants to be a hero in extra innings instead of just getting on base and playing it like another inning. That gets down, and the inning continues. Hey, that's a nice piece of hitting right there. Two out base knock to put the winning run on base. Let's see if someone can catch a gap and end this thing. At the plate, Angel Huerta has got a chance to end this one and send these fans home happy if he can get a ball deep enough into the gap.
And another throw over. Runner back safely. And again, a throw over. And the runner back safely. And again, a throw. And a dive, but he's back. Another throw over. And a dive, but he's back in there. Here's the 2-2 two -two pitch. Weak hard rounder 90, back 90, to the mound. On to first, and we're headed to 13 as that ends the inning. Now at the plate, Omar Sosa. He successfully laid down a sack bunt in his last plate appearance. Hit the other way out toward right field. Right fielder giving chase. One out. Coming to the plate now, number seven. And he's looking for history now as he tries to go a perfect seven for seven in the ballgame. Lifted in the air to center. Zapata has it in his tracks. And he makes the catch for the second out. Digging in to try it again. Jack Kirkland. Right fielder, Jack Kirkland. Looking for the strikeout. Here's the 0-2 pitch. There's a swing and a drive hit well out to right field. And trouble it is. It's down for extra bases. He hit the corner and tries for third. And he will make it in safely. He's in at third as the go-ahead run. Standing in, number seven. He flew out in his last at-bat. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Fouled off. I know it's a guessing game, but usually when you flip that coin, it better come up fastball at this level. He cannot be late right there. That was right in the wheelhouse. Another one fouled off, and he's quickly behind 0-2. As we near the end of this one, it's clear the long ball has played a big role in today's outcome. Dan, d -Row, what are your go final hard, thoughts hard, on what hard, we've seen? Yeah, just non-competitive pitches in some big situations, Dan, and the offense took full advantage. Yeah, you know, d -Row, one of the things about pitching is you want to have location, and it was obvious in this one today that the pitchers weren't on point, and what happens when that happens? Hitters make you pay, and the long ball was a big part of this one here. Wow, he's getting his daily conditioning in during the game. That's his second triple, so obviously he's seeing the ball great, and he's showing he knows how to motor around the bases so just fine. After it. Angel Striding Huerta. into the box, Angel Huerta, winning run at third. Nobody out. Now the one and two pitch. Swing and a fly ball, and that should be deep enough to end it. Sosa is there. Let's see if they try it. And they will not try it as the winning run has to hold tight at third. Into the box, Diego Guerrero. And he might very well get four wide ones here to try to set up a double play ball that could still get him out of here tied. Struck him out. A huge punch out there. And the winning run stays anchored at third with two gone now. One of the toughest pitches to hit, the straight changeup, right? El Cambio. Hadn't seen it in that entire at bat. And what happens? Gets the string pulled on him right there. Had no chance to put that ball in play. Left fielder. Stepping Edmundo up to the plate, Edmundo Castro. Castro. He's got a chance to win it here, but with a couple of bases open, they might think about working around him. The 0 1. A bouncer up the middle. Coleman ranging up the middle. And a super play to gun his man down as the side is retired. So no runs here on a base hit, no errors, and one man left aboard. Leading off for El Paso. Stepping in, Dusty Coleman. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Skied into straightaway right. Right fielder has a beat on it, one down. Now batting, number now seven. Batting. He went deep back number in the fifth. Seven. He's ready. Here's the first offering. 
lifted in the air to center. Zapata is there to make the catch, and that means we've got more baseball. So the lineup really helped carry them to victory here in this one, and this man was a big reason why. He's our top's player of the game. Yeah, no doubt about this selection. A cycle is about equivalent to a no-hitter for a pitcher. It's something we're only lucky enough to see a couple of times a year, if that. So that was awesome to witness. And it's a 10 to 9 final at the end of this one. The Nashville Sound jump out to a 1 nothing series lead. Albert